is cold. Winter is finally here. It, well, I suppose it's still like 10 degrees, but there's a nice, cool southerly blowing and it's pretty pretty cold. Cold as I reckon it's been so far. I'm back at my favorite place. You would have seen me fish here before. I'm back here. I've got a few hours. This is my last day, my last free day in New Zealand. And so I'm just gonna fish for a couple of hours, try and pick up a fish, make a video, and then go home, hang out with the family before I leave the country. If you've watched my videos before, you'll probably recognize this spot. But if you haven't, if this is the first time you've ever, if you're just stumbling across one of my videos for the first time now, my name's Gareth. I do that all the time. Now my actual fly is stuck in there. This is my YouTube channel. I post, I've been pretty good, I post a video pretty much every week. I think I've been doing it every week now for at least seven or eight months, sometimes two. But I fly fish, I'm based in the North Island of New Zealand. I'm also a bit of a guide. And um, yeah, so if that sounds like your cup of tea, click the subscribe button. I had some other stuff to tell you as well, but I've forgotten what that is right now. So at the moment, let's just get to the river, start swinging some flies. Just that little edge, but it's it's changed a lot. Like the bulk of the water used to go down the left hand side, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now the bulk of the water is coming down the right hand side. And I haven't seen fish holding in there yet, but yep. I still reckon they will. We'll see how I go. Oh, it definitely gets in the way of what I want to be doing. Nice to meet you, bro. So there's a dude turned up below me. <sighs> Which never invigorates me. Alright, screw this. Screw this, screw that, I'm going home. Just gonna ask this dude if he caught anything. Doubt it though. So that pretty much sucked. Ah, uh, there was two dudes already fishing my spot. Ah, uh, they hadn't caught anything, I didn't. I haven't caught any, they didn't catch, but they didn't catch anything, I didn't catch anything. I spoke to a couple anglers down there. No one's caught anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume there's no fish in this part of the river. Still. Look at the amount of cars here though. I don't know if that shows all of them, but it's a couple. So now I'm going to go to a spot which I haven't... I haven't really swung, I feel like I say that all the time, I haven't really swung it much. Uh, I have caught a fish in there on the swing, but that was before I knew what I was doing. I was just playing around with, um, I was just, yeah, I was just playing around and I caught one. So I'm going to go back there and have a go, and then I will be heading back towards the Hanimaya, try to catch fish out of there before I head home. Alright, so I have given up on the Tongariro, there's just way too many people around and nowhere near enough fish. I've just come back to the Hanimaya, I've got single hand single hand spay come into a spot I came the other night which uh, was a new spot for me really on the Hanimaya I haven't really explored around here that much um, so that's what I'm doing now I'm going back here I nymphed it and I caught a fish the other night but it looked like a pretty good place to uh, swing some flies so that's what I'm going to do that is of course assuming I can find my way back. There's a lot of tracks up here and it's uh, actually pretty confusing about where you need to be. I've already taken the wrong turn. Being as I'm leaving the country in like three days, like going on the biggest, like definitely the most, the biggest trip I've ever done in my life and possibly ever will do. I hope not, hopefully this is just the start, but got me thinking like I can see in the analytics that you know, the, the vast majority of the people that watch my videos, you guys, are from New Zealand and America. Um, but then there's a whole bunch of other people that I don't really know where they're from. So I thought, if you're watching this video, leave a comment and let me know where you're from. It'd just be really cool to kind of get a grasp of, of of where you guys are and what you fish for. And yeah, it'd be cool to hear from you. Okay, so I found this good spot. Holy crap. Man, I might be screwed. There's a whole lot of extra water in the river. I don't actually even know if I'm gonna be able to fish this. So as, as you might be able to tell, there's actually a bunch of extra water in here. And so what I wanted to swing down, I wanted to swing down this way. I'm not actually sure I'll be able to physically get down there because it might get so deep. But we'll see how we go. But yeah, so I've got, yeah, I've got a black woolly bugger with a, a fluoro yellow bead. 
just because you know the water's a bit dirty and a bit high I'll give them the best chance of seeing it big silhouette with a bright dot on it although that's just what was already on here so it's probably more that reason than anything else can't bother changing it but if I get touched and no hook up I'm definitely changing it because I I really prefer to have that stinger hook hanging out the back there it just makes so much more sense to me to have a big hook at the back of it but I don't like I don't understand how fish eat those intruder flies and don't hook up because it's like the first thing that will go in their mouth is a big hook I just don't get it I'm assuming it must have something to do with the way they eat it. But I've not hooked up, I've not landed a fish on the swing in the honey wire yet. This, oh, oh yeah, I love it when that happens. Right on the inside, right when it just about stopped. Yes! Well, I was just saying I have not landed a fish. I've, I've hooked to bumped a couple, but I've not landed a fish. Well, I still haven't landed this one, but hopefully I can. Definitely not the biggest fish in the world. Not the healthiest either, but I'm, I'm happy with it very slabby like it looks like I'm squeezing him but I'm not that's just his soft her soft is that fluoro bead woolly bugger in there I'll get that out and we'll let her go see you bud so sweet that fish was right where it should have been right on the inside right as the fly stopped uh, it's just a shame it wasn't a very healthy fish, but I'm happy with that nonetheless. That's the first fish on the single hand swing in the honey wire for this winter season. Phew! Alright, let's see if we can find another one. Maybe a little, a little healthier would be good. Yeah, oh! God damn it! Alright, let's try that swing one more time. I definitely touched a fish down in there. See I can find his buddy. Fish! Woo! Yeah! Far out, I love swinging a fly. Oh, I hate dropping fish on a fly. God damn it. It's two now. That was a better fish. It's still dark, but a much bigger fish. Bah. That pisses me right off. Should I change fly? Or oh, I'm getting bit on this one. I mean, I've landed a fish. You know what I mean? Should I change fly? What would you guys do in this situation? I've dropped two fish in the last five minutes. Is it hook style or what is it? I kind of like the idea of this fly because it's black and the hot dot, but should I try an intruder? Well, this might be a uh... This will be dictating my fly selection, I'd say. Alright, so I've been forced into this fly change. Now I've got a much bigger, darker intruder style. This is from Nick Stewart over in Australia. I will link his Instagram below. The guy ties some amazing flies. And he sells them. I just hope like shit I don't lose this. Fish, yes, please don't come off. I 
Honestly guys, if you haven't tried this swing thing, the Skagit, the micro Skagit, it is just so much more fun. At this stage in my fishing life, I'd much rather be doing this than nymphing. It's just so good. Oh, much darker fish, but still. Boom. Much darker, but still a really nice fish. Definitely a lot bigger than the last one. Woo. And he was in a hurry. And he got my lens all wet. I'm just gonna swing the rest of this and see if we can come up with one more. Another one, yeah, slaying. Oh, this one's under the bank. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. I'm not sure if he's got me stuck on a tree or something. No, he's out. landed this guy just standing so I don't have to walk back upstream to a spot where I can deal with him but I, I managed to land him that's probably the best fish yet and I'm not even going to take a, a good photo of him hopefully he comes out in the GoPro and he's off all right sick I'm having a wicked little session here Let's see if we can find another one I just restarted the GoPro and I hooked another one like this is three fish and three casts in about three minutes. Oh yeah, this one's really aerobatic. So there's an, a much fresher hen, really nice fish, best one today. Not the biggest, but the freshest. The last fish I've caught have been, uh, been quite dark jacks, but this is a really nice fish. Let her go. Far out, they get me wet every time, little buggers. That's it, I'm at home now, enjoying some time with the kids, playing some games that kick my ass, which is slightly annoying. But yeah, so still had no luck on the Tongariro, uh, did have a really, really good little 20 minute session on the Hini Wire where I, I was touching fish like every cast, there's a few that aren't, in, there's a couple of fish I caught that aren't in the video, and uh, I touched a heap more, there was a big pocket of fish there and I really slayed them. So this is going to be my last video in New Zealand, the next one, next time you see me, next video I post will be in another country fishing for a whole bunch of other different species of fish. In fact, the next probably maybe 12 videos-ish will be somewhere completely different. So if you don't, haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well, it's all linked below. And uh, stay up to date with where I'm at, where I'm going, what I'm doing, and what I'm catching. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.